Some players have been encountering an issue while playing Apex Legends. While playing the game, Apex Legend crashes randomly with the error code C000005 mentioned in the error log. There is no error message displayed upon the crash, but rather the game just closes. As it turns out, the problem in question can occur due to several different reasons. This includes things like third-party programs in the background, the in-game overlay of the Origin client, and much more. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to resolve the issue mentioned above, so just follow through with the guidelines provided. Method 1. Run Apex Legends as an administrator. The first thing that you should do when you encounter the problem in question is to try running the game as an administrator. Doing this will give it all of the required permissions to run properly without facing any issues related to permissions. To do this, you can either run the origin client as an administrator and then start the game. Or, you can just search for Apex Legends and run it as an administrator. To origin and Apex Legends as an administrator, simply open up the start menu and search for the respective app. Then, click on the run as administrator option provided to the right. See if that fixes the problem for you. Method 2. Limit in-game FPS. First of all, open up the Origin client on your computer. Then, in the game's library, right-click on Apex Legends, and from the drop-down menu, choose the Game Properties option. Switch to the Advanced Launch Options tab. There, under Command Line Arguments, enter plus FPS underscore max 75 without the quotes. Click Save and then launch the game. Once the game has been launched, make sure to turn off vSync from the Settings menu. After that, see if the problem has been resolved. In case it is, you can try increasing the FPS limit to see if the problem occurs. Method 3. Use Windowed Mode. In case limiting your FPS does not fix the problem for you, then, in such a scenario, you can try playing the game in Windowed Mode instead of the usual full screen mode. As per some user reports, this has also been effective for different users with the same problem. Therefore, it might just work out for you as well. To do this, launch the game and head to the settings menu. There, in the video settings, you will be able to change the display type or mode from full screen to windowed. See if that gets rid of the issue for you. Method 5. Disable Origin Overlay. To start, open up the Origin Client. At the top left corner, click on the Origin drop-down menu and choose the Application Settings option. After that, click on the More drop-down menu to the right and then click on the Origin in-game option. There, click on the slider provided to turn off the Origin in-game overlay. Once you have done that, see if Apex Legends is still crashing for you. Method 6. Lower Easy Anti Cheat Process Priority First of all, open up the Task Manager on your system. You can do this by right-clicking on your taskbar if you are on Windows 10, or the Start Menu icon if you are on Windows 11. From the menu that appears, choose the Task Manager option. Once you have done that, switch to the Details tab. There, locate the Easy Anti Cheat process and right-click on it. If you don't see the process, you will have to launch the game so that the anti-cheat is opened up. From the menu, choose the Set Priority Low option. After doing that, go ahead and see if the problem persists. Method 7. Repair Easy Anti Cheat. First of all, open up the File Explorer window. After that, navigate to the directory where the game is installed. Once you are there, locate the Easy Anti Cheat underscore setup.exe file and run it. Choose the Respawn Demo option from the drop down menu. On the Setup window, choose the Repair option to repair the anti cheat. With that done, try running the game again to see if it still crashes. Method 8. Perform Clean Boot. To start, pressing Windows key, then type in Sconfig and then hit the Enter key. On the System Configuration window that opens up, switch to the Services tab. There, check the Hide All Microsoft Services tick box provided. After doing that, click the Disable All button and then hit Apply. With that done, switch to the Startup tab and click on the Open Task Manager option. On the Task Manager window, click on the apps provided one by one and then click the Disable option. 
Once you have done all of that, go ahead and restart your computer. After your PC boots up, see if the problem is still there.